Hello everyone and welcome to Rusty Studios, where today I'll be reviewing my custom of HTB Land McQueen. I based this custom off the fact that even though we've gotten a Rusty's Land McQueen and a Dynaco Land McQueen, we have never once gotten an HTB Land McQueen. In fact, the only green Land McQueen we've ever gotten has been a green to blue Land McQueen color changer. So I wanted to make an HTB Land McQueen to finally complete the trio. And now with my inspiration explained, let's start the review. So for this custom, I start off with a regular Land McQueen diecast, painting them green, purple coats, a couple layers. I also painted his teeth white because I accidentally painted them green the first time. All four of his wheels are yellow to match up with the chick hicks. I gave him a determined expression to make him look like, yeah, he's up to something. He's about to cause a crash. On both sides, along with his roof, there's a number 86. Rather than McQueen's regular 95, there's an HGB logo on his hood and one last HGB logo on his bumper. He also has no rookie stripe because I'd like to imagine in an alternate universe he wanted to win HTB rather than Dynaco. While Chick Hicks windows are usually gray or dark gray, I made these windows black so it look more like McQueen's. And when compared to Chick Hicks, the similarities really start to shine through. Very determined, looks like he's up to something. Probably causing the Dynaco's online crash. Shades of green are slightly different but about the same. He sits is on the roof and the sides. No mustache because McQueen never had a mustache. You may notice that there's only one sponsor on this McQueen while Chick Hicks has Probably like 400. But the reason this McQueen has no contingency sponsors is because neither does Dynaco Land McQueen. Even though this is Bling Bling McQueen, they are about the same other than the tires. In fact, the Dynaco logo is on the spoiler only on the Bling Bling McQueen. But yeah, just like I said, since Dynaco McQueen doesn't have any contingency sponsors, I thought I might as well make these two match. Now, remember that Light McQueen color changer I mentioned at the beginning of the video? Well, I have one. And although he's gotten a little bit scratched over the years that I've had him, at least he is here for a comparison. You can see that the shade of green that he has is very, I don't know, minty. It doesn't really look like a green. It looks like a mix between blue and green. But this is back when color changers were just first being made. I always saw this Lightning McQueen color changer as Mattel kind of saying, we're not really going to make an HTB Lightning McQueen, but we are going to give you this green Lightning McQueen as a nod to it. That brings me to the end of today's review. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.